You are not the mistake. You yourself, the decision you made, the time you invested, maybe financially, is not the mistake. The mistake is you walking away and allowing someone else to make you feel bad for living life. Hello, my fellow puzzle pieces. That's right, you are officially part of the puzzle family. My name is Tasha Hart. I'm the founder of Puzzle to Purpose, how to go from being puzzled to having insane, crazy purpose in all areas of your life. I want to thank Mia for inviting me to talk to you and just share with her audience today a little bit of my puzzle philosophy about misfits not being mistakes. I talk about people in terms of puzzle analogies to help them make the connections and see the gaps that could be stopping them from accelerating in all those areas of their life that they want to see results and success. One of those analogies is about how misfits are sometimes looked at as mistakes. But first, let me explain my three favorite puzzle pieces because I use these puzzle pieces to talk about analogies all the time and I want you to have that for a reference. One of the puzzle pieces I talk about is the centerpiece. Centerpieces, because of their position, have strategies to help them realize their goals. Those strategies are different than that of an edge piece. Obviously, edge pieces have one edge and their strategies are different as well. Last but not least, the corner piece. A corner piece has two straight edges making up the corner of any puzzle or picture that you begin to work on. So I use those three puzzle pieces to talk about position, potential, and purpose. But sometimes pieces at a glance don't match up the way you thought that they would from the beginning. What do I mean by that? We're talking about misfits being mistakes. I don't know about you, but I've found myself in plenty of situations where I was told that I should learn from my mistakes and I should know better and you need to do this and Tasha, you should have done that. And if you would have listened, blah, blah, blah. I've been told those very things and all it did was make me feel really bad about a decision that I made or a choice that I thought I was making a good one at the time. Well, here's what happens. When you're walking down the aisle of a toy department and you see the puzzle section, if you've ever done this, I don't know, maybe it's just me because I'm the puzzle lady, but when I'm walking down the aisle in the puzzle department, toy department of the store, certain pictures on the front of the box grab my attention. I'm walking down the aisle and it's not the kittens that do it for me. It's that beautiful scenery with a blue sky or a water with deep blue but bright sparkling colors where the picture on the front of the box almost makes me feel as if I'm there in that scene. Well, the reason that picture is so attractive to me is because it supports who I am as a puzzle piece, if you will. It supports my purpose, my goals. There's a reason why that picture is attractive to me. Whereas my son or my spouse, they may walk down that same aisle, look at the same boxes and have no interest in the one that I'm interested in because it doesn't fit them. So I encourage you to find the picture that you think is screaming and has the neon lights blinking the loudest and grabs your attention. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. It's okay. Usually that neon picture on the front of the box is a goal or a decision that you made that you think is the best one at the time. It's the picture, it's the goal you are going to work on. So you start to pull those pieces out of the box and you're starting to piece things together and all of a sudden you have a fit, a fit. But if you look closer, these two pieces are not a fit. They're actually a misfit. 
if you look close, there's a gap. There's a gap between the fitting of these two pieces. Has that ever happened to you before? Have you ever made a decision and then you started to see the gaps in that decision? And then you started to feel that misfit feeling that, ooh, I made a mistake. Well, let me challenge you in this moment. Let me challenge you while you're remembering that moment or that decision or that relationship or that job. I want to challenge you to remember that saying that you can learn from your mistakes, yes, but you are not the mistake. You yourself, the decision you made, the time you invested, maybe financially, is not the mistake. The mistake is you walking away and allowing someone else to make you feel bad for living life, for making a choice, for making decisions. Hey, we all make mistakes. That doesn't make us a mistake. It makes us misfits. So welcome to the club. You are a misfit, my friend, if you have ever found yourself making a decision with a few gaps in it. But here's the good news. No one, no one can take away, guess what? It's not a secret, but come closer. No one can take away the education and the experience that you gain when you are in a misfit situation. See, you learn in those misfit situations what not to do next time. And another thing, you get to know those pieces, those people that you were connected to for that time that you wouldn't have otherwise. You would have never met those people. You would have never experienced their culture, their education, what they contribute to life without those misfit situations. So just do what I just did. When you find that you are in a misfit situation, be willing to break apart from that, to be repositioned, to move your pieces around. Don't get stuck just thinking that this is it. That's all there is to it. I made one decision and now I have to live with that decision the rest of my life. No way, Jose. We don't do it that way. Not in the puzzle world. We snap those pieces apart. We move them around until we find the perfect fit. And then we don't regret the time that we spent in that misfit situation because we walked away with valuable experience and valuable resources that we wouldn't have had otherwise. So here's the thing. When you do find the perfect fit, take all that life experience with you and pour it into that perfect position so that while you're in the perfect fit, you bring so much to the table, you're contributing so much to that position that you see your goals accelerate at such a fast and rapid and exciting pace. And it makes life adventurous and fun along the way. One of the things that I learned when I was in a misfit situation, I was hanging out with a group that wasn't necessarily my best position at the time. But one thing I learned from hanging in that circle, even though eventually I had to break away from those pieces and reposition myself and find another fit, try something new, try something different, one thing that I experienced in that moment was how to change my own tires and fuses. Who would have thought that fast forward, this would make me position to help other people. I've been able to pull over and change the tires of women that would not accept help from a man because they were scared or afraid. I, I get joy out of helping people and connecting with people because I know what it's like to be in those misfit situations. So here's the thing, no one can take away your education and your experience. It's yours, it's all yours. So don't be ashamed of it, own it. Even the ones that we think, oh man, why did I do that? Or why did I get in that situation? Hey, we all make mistakes, but we are not mistakes. We are valuable pieces and no picture is complete without you in it. So I want you to find your fit. Find the perfect connection. Because when you do, it's easy. It's flawless. There's no friction. Look how easy that is. 
you fall right into place and you bring all that experience, all that education, all that misfit energy with you. It doesn't make you a hypocrite. It makes you a help. It makes you a help to your own goals and your own purpose. And you bring that to the pieces around you. Even when you're in the perfect fit, there could be pieces around you trying to find their perfect fit and finding themselves in a misfit situation. And you can say, you know what? That is part of life. That is part of gaining that education and that life experience that you're going to put in your arsenal and pull out later and blow people away. You are going to blow them away with your knowledge, your connection, and your ability to adapt and to take those life situations and challenges and turn them into opportunities. So there you have it. Misfits are not mistakes. Nia, once again, thank you for allowing me to come and share with your audience. I hope that they feel how much their peace matters. And I want them to know before we go that whether they are corner pieces, center pieces, edge pieces, with all that strategy and potential, if they find themselves in a misfit situation, now you know a better way to look at it. Learn from it, reposition, and then connect. And until you do that, hey, the best you can do is keep it together. Don't freak out.